absolutely. I mean, the margin was small, but the cars were there. Now, but now we're in a very new situation. Now everybody has to understand um, it takes some time. I have colleagues in, in the European Parliament who think, yeah, you can switch from, from one day, day to the other. Not possible. So we have to wait. And the scrappage scheme is a very, very good tool to overcome this time, this period. So if, if we see, if we look at Germany one year, that's, that's good. That's maybe enough. We have to see. The problem, though, is there's a competition problem of, with the, the, the law, competition law in the European Union. So I'm a little bit afraid that every member state starts their own measures and that goes really, really 100% against the common market that we have. Yeah, let's talk uh, about that perhaps, may national may interest. jump into yes, that immediately? Absolutely. I think that is a key question. What we need is a coordinated mm -hmm. industrial policy and we have to have a clear commitment from the EU member states. Yeah? That when we, when we hear, listen to these national rescue schemes, yes. That is not only uh, it's not only the distortion of the market. It is, of course, it is increasing the competition between workforce. Yeah, and every uh, every site is then fighting for only the site, and we don't have this European vision anymore. And just heading uh, the European elections ahead, we have. I would like to appeal to the politicians to make that very clear and appeal even more to the national heads of the governments. And it's irresponsible to say we do something for the French or only for the German uh, uh, automobile Like Sarkozy industry. was suggesting, uh, uh, come back to France and uh, we'll close the plant in Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, I guess, uh, Sergei Koslek, you must have been pretty horrified when, when, when that news broke. And of course, now uh, Sarkozy has stepped back from that a little bit. Um, but what's, what's your perspective? I guess you would agree with uh, Mr. Scherer. Treba povedať, že samozrejme, že treba určitú koordináciu na úrovni krajín Európskej únie, aby nedochádzalo k neodôvodnenému protekcionizmu a teda na tomto základe k neodôvodnenému ohrozeniu výrob v jednotlivých krajinách. Ale tá dohoda musí mať širší rámec. Už poznáme niektoré čísla e, za iné krajiny sveta, treba za Spojené štáty americké, azijské krajiny a treba povedať, že stimuli tre, e, pre podporu automobilového priemyslu v Spojených štátoch z toho balíka 700 miliard dolárov na podporu ekonomiky. Stimuli pre produkciu automobilov majú predstavať 23 miliard amerických dolárov. Pričom vo vyspelých krajinách Európy sa počíta so stimulmi v úhrnej hodnote okolo 10 miliard dolárov, čo je polovička z úrovne Spojených štátoch amerických. Aren't we um, running the risk that uh, even if we overcome uh, uh, national protectionism within Europe, then we'll, uh, we'll create a new one, a European protectionism, uh, against those manufacturers uh, in Asia? The South Korea trade agreement has just been postponed uh, uh, after following pressure from, from, the, from the European car industry. Yeah, we also have to have a look. I was many years member of the Intercommittee, which is the, for, the trade, uh, International Trade Committee, uh, whether or not Asian nations are fair. And I must say, uh, especially this Korean deal uh, did foresee for the car industry a not very fair deal. So the, that was not, uh, the, not good. And Mr. Mendelssohn, former commissioner, wanted uh, success in his uh, tenure. So uh, let's, come in, let's come back to Europe. We have firstly to avoid that within Europe we have this different patterns. I remember very well Sarkozy not only asking his French companies not to go to Slovakia or to Romania, but he also put some, you know, six billion euro on the table, which distorts the competition to a very, very high extent. I mean, what should Ford, take Ford, I'm, I'm from the region of Saarland, where we have a big, big plant of Ford. Nobody would protect Ford in, in, in Europe because Ford is not a European company. Nevertheless, they produce cars here. They produce very well cars, also for the American market. Where should they go to? Should they ask Germany? They can't. So that is why there's a clear distortion and we have to avoid that. And I was surprised myself uh, being you know, confronted with the tools the European Union or the European Commission has, nearly nothing. I was very surprised. That is why the European Parliament started this resolution, putting a little bit more pressure on the European institutions to really have a common approach. Uh, otherwise, we have a big, big problem in our 
uh, respective markets. So you welcome I, this, this I initiative? I couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And with, re uh, with regard to the trade, uh, yeah, we have to have fair trade. And, and uh, there are some, com uh, some countries which are far behind. And I think the European uh, Union should help these country to, uh, countries to develop. Yeah? And there, sh there should be agreements with them to help their industry well, flourishing and becoming more and more important. That is, but South Korea is certainly not that category. That's right. Mm. Perhaps uh, let's uh, go back now to, uh, we have another report uh, prepared uh, for us here. It's, it's, it's from Slovakia. Uh, we've already heard, of course, a country less affected uh, by the crisis in general, perhaps largely because its banks have been a bit more cautious than others. But at the same time, uh, Slovakia is also a country heavily depending on the car industry. We heard that from Mr. Koslik already. Uh, let's have a look uh, at this report from Slovakia now. <laughs> The Slovakian economy is reliant on the car industry, employing nearly 30,000 people. In the factories of PSA Peugeot Citroën, Volkswagen and Kia Motors, 640,000 cars are manufactured every year. But with the global economic crisis, all three car factories are reducing production. They are sending employees for unpaid holidays and hundreds were fired. The government reacted by introducing the scrapping incentive. It pays people to scrap their old cars when buying new ones. Ľudia sa veľmi intenzívne vypitujú, ako to vlastne celé je. Sme radi, že im to už môžeme povedať, pretože vlastne tá technika voči zákazníkom je už jasná. Takže myslím si, že tá odozva bude nasledovať. The government subsidizes this activity by injecting 33 million euros. After two months, there is no money left. Approximately 15,000 car owners scrapped their cars to buy a new one. Zavedenie šrotovného bolo veľmi prospešné a preto budeme iniciovať za Združenie automobilového priemyslu pokračovanie. Vyše tretiny zo šrotovaných vozidiel boli vo veku 21 až 25 rokov a vyše 80% zo šrotovaných vozidiel bolo starší ako 16 rokov. Táto podpora prináša viac do štátneho rozpočtu ako pýta zo štátneho rozpočtu However good it looks, there are some opinions that the system doesn't work properly in a globalized economy. Most people in Slovakia buy Skoda cars made in the Czech Republic. Also, 98% of cars manufactured in Slovakia are exported. So buying cars in Slovakia doesn't necessarily mean buying Slovakian cars. Píše se pro nás ještě, jak si zde naskýtá malinko jiná diskuze, jestli těch 500 euro tedy dodatečných omezíme skutečně jenom na ty zákazníky, kteří budou mít právo právě na ty 2000 šrotovného, nebo jestli to rozšíříme na vlastně všechny, tak aby jsme nediskriminovali. Nowadays, the government is considering giving more money towards the scrapping incentive. The idea is to inject a further 33 million euros. The opposition believes that this solution is inconsistent and also very expensive. Is it just a waste of money in the midst of an economic crisis? Only time will tell. This report from Slovakia. We've talked about the scrapping incentive already a little bit. Let me um, put uh, this question to, uh, to you, uh, Mr. Koslik. It must be a good thing uh, that uh, your, the fleet of the cars used in Slovakia uh, is, is getting younger, is getting uh, greener. No problém s peniazmi kúpiť si auto s použitím šrotovného na Slovensku a myslím si, že ani v iných e, nových členských krajinách e, platí aj to, že e, výmena starých vozidel za nové je určite prospešná životnému prostrediu aj bezpečnosti na cestách, ale na druhej strane platí aj to, že toto opatrenie nepomôže slovenskému priemyslu, keďže 85% Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovensko-Slovens